guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in for yet another video. For today's video, I'm just going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite natural hair products. These are items that I use pretty consistently all the time and that pretty much stays in my natural hair stash. And let me also preference this video by saying what works for me, the products that you see and the items that you see me review or talk about in this video work for me may not work for you so I just want to put that disclosure out there over time I have been getting messages and DMS from people just asking me what do I do to take care of my natural hair what products do I use and what products would I suggest or recommend that they use so I figured this would be a good time to kind of lay everything out and just show you what I use, what I like, how I treat my hair, what I use to treat my hair. So I have quite a few things. I'm going to try to speed through this as quick as I can. So I have shampoos, conditioners, masks, leave-ins, um, sprays, uh, styling tools, uh, just different things like that that I use for my hair. That's pretty much going to be what this video is all about. So um so I hope you enjoy it, <laughs> but I'm just going to kind of briefly go over each of the products I have and why I have them and why I use them and why I like it so much. So without further ado, let's get started. So first we have shampoos. So I chose out of my entire stash about three shampoos. So I'm going to start with uh, TGIN, one of my favorite brands. This is TGIN Miracle Repair RX Moisturizing Shampoo with black honey and coconut oil. What I love about their shampoo is that it's very moisturizing, it's very hydrating, it leaves my hair very soft, very nourished, and I just love the softness that it gives my hair. So this will always stay in my natural hair stash, and it's really great if you have damaged hair or very dry hair. So my hair is seems like it's always dry. So whenever I need a boost of moisture when it comes to shampoos, this is one that I tend to reach for. Another shampoo that I love is from Uncle Funky's Daughter, which is the Squeaky Clarifying Cleanser. This product has tea tree, kelp, willow bark, and menthol. What I love about this shampoo is that it's really great if you have product buildup, really bad product buildup. It gets it out of your hair. It strips it out of your hair. Now, I will say it doesn't leave your hair moisturized, but it definitely strips away a lot of product, a lot of buildup that you have in your hair. So when I have those days where I have that feel like my hair is like really, really gross and just packed with gels and edge controls, or especially around my edges, this is what I go to. This is what gets the job done every single time, and it's very tingling on my scalp. It just leaves my scalp feeling really good, very cleansed my hair very clean. It's just a really great shampoo and it's also very stimulating on your scalp and also on your senses as well. Just kind of opens up your senses, opens up your nose because of the menthol and the tea tree and, and peppermint and things like that that's in the product. And also it stimulates hair growth. So that's another thing I really like about the shampoo. So on to Big Daddy, which is from Sultanicals. It's not called Big Daddy. I just call it that because it's in the salon size. But this is the Shea Ayurvedic Butter Shampoo, Heavy Shampoo Butter Cream with Brahmi, Amla, Shikakai, and Bright Green Ridge. Two great things I love about this shampoo. One, it's very moisturizing, very hydrating, very conditioning. This shampoo does have a lot of great quality ingredients in it. A lot of clean ingredients in here as well that I can read, that I can make out. A lot of times when you start shampooing your hair, your hair starts to kind of tangle up. But this one actually helps to detangle my hair as I'm shampooing my hair. It also has a lot of great slip. It's very moisturizing, very hydrating, and it leaves my hair very, very soft. And it's just a really great shampoo, and this is one I would recommend and suggest to anyone. Now on to my conditioners. So I have three conditioners that I really, really enjoy, that I always seem to gravitate towards. So the first one is one of my all-time favorites. This one, I buy multiple, multiple bottles of this stuff, but it's the 50-50 Balance Hydrating Calming Conditioner by Giovanni. This is the Eco Chic Hair Care, and it's for normal to dry hair. Now this conditioner works as a co-wash as well as just a regular conditioner. This product is really, really great if you have dry, low frosty hair. As soon as you apply this to your hair, especially if your hair is wet, it immediately absorbs into the hair. It immediately softens your hair to make it easy to detangle. And I also use this, I actually use this as a pre-poo, a co-wash, and a conditioner. I feel immediate bounce back in my hair. I feel the immediate moisture go into my hair once I apply this, this um, conditioner. I don't care how matted, how dry my hair is. As soon as I apply it, as soon as I apply it, it immediately starts untangling my hair. It just loosens my tangles. It just melts away the tangles. It is 
beyond the best conditioner I've ever, ever used in my hair, and it will remain. It will always remain the number one conditioner of all conditioners in my natural hair stash. The next one is from Natural Club, their Hydrating Avocado Conditioner. It's sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. This is another great conditioner that I would also recommend. It's very softening, it's very hydrating, and it's just um, it's just a really great conditioner. It is penetrating, uh, just like the other ones, and it's really great for detangling uh, my hair. I can easily detangle my hair without having to use any styling tools. It softens my hair up, and it's just a really great conditioner, and it's one that I would highly recommend. The next conditioner I have is from Sultanicals Afrotastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treat with alma, eczema, and avocado oil. I don't know that middle word. <laughs> this conditioner is also really great because it rehydrates your hair. It has really great slip and it's very conditioning. It's nutrient rich. This conditioner also has a lot of great ingredients as well. It has a lot of organic ingredients in it. It has ingredients such as burdock, amla, chamomile, thyme, sage. It also has marshmallow root, rosemary, coat's foot, organic aloe juice and these are ingredients that are towards the top at the very top as well as water being the first ingredient and it's just a really great conditioner that I also will recommend. Now on to my stylers. My number one favorite styler is from Uncle Funky's Daughter which is the Curl Magic Curl Stimulator. The reason why this is my favorite styler one is because it does not leave residue, it does not flake in my hair and it has the craziest slip for a gel that I've ever put in my hair before. It leaves my hair with a great shine and just crazy definition moisturized and it has amazing slip I can detangle with this product I can easily distribute it through my hair and my hair just soaks it up it, it loves loves this curl stimulator another great styler that I love to use in my hair is from TGIN this is the honey curls custard with raw honey and agave nectar this is another styler that I really really love and I've been using this also for quite a while now but it gives really great curl definition it smooths out my, my hair cuticles it's great for twist styles it leaves your hair very shiny, very defined, and it's also low porosity friendly as well. So this is one that my hair really takes to. It doesn't leave any residue in my hair and my curls and crunch free, no crunch. It's just a really great custard that I love to use. Now when I want my curls to really stretch and elongate and get that really great curl definition, that's when I go to the Talia Wajia Curly Curl Cream. So with the Curly Curl Cream, it gives you extreme curl definition. There's no buildup, there's no flakage, it's very moisturizing, it's very conditioning, it elongates my curls. I love to do wash and goes or one and dones with this product only. It doesn't leave any buildup. It's just a really amazing product and just I just love it, it's, it's, it's the best. So next are my oils. I have two oils in particular that I really love and I kind of go back and forth with these oils quite a bit. But the first one is from Sultanicals, the Bloom Super Potent Healthy Hair Oil with organic herbs, vitamins, and botanicals. So when they say potent, they mean just that. This oil has a lot of great organic ingredients in it. It has extra virgin olive oil, it has rosemary, horsetail, dandelion root, MSM, sulfur, cayenne pepper, fenugreek, and just a lot of other amazing ingredients. I'm getting kind of, am I getting low? Yeah, I'm getting kind of low with this oil, but it's really great. I do a scalp massage with this oil. You can also use it as a, um, a hot oil treatment as well, but it's a really great hair stimulating oil that I would recommend, and it's really amazing, and it smells really good. Really great oil from Sultanicals. Now on to my hair treatment. It's from Afogee, which is the Curlific Texture Treatment. So whenever I feel my curls need that extra definition, that extra pop, this is what I put in my hair for like a minute and sometimes more than a minute. It really brings my curl definition back to life. It makes my hair super, super curly. It improves elasticity. It repairs damaged curls, pulls, and waves. And this is a protein treatment as well, so I don't reach for it as often because you don't want to over protein your hair. Um, but it's really great. It, it strengthens my hair and it makes my hair more manageable. And it's just a really great product to keep on deck if you have curly hair, but you have maybe some sections of your hair that may not be as curly as the rest of your hair, I would definitely encourage you to give this a try and that'll give you that extra curl definition in those sections that you may want to have. So I would highly recommend it. Now onto my styling tools. I have a few that I like to use quite often. The first one, of course, is my scalp massager. I've shown this and reviewed this. It has pretty high reviews on it so far. It stimulates my scalp, it circulates the blood flow in my scalp that also promotes hair growth. And not only for my scalp, but you can use it over your body as well. 
as just a regular massager, but it's really great um, massager. I got this on Amazon. It is in my Amazon store. So this is what it looks like. It speeds up. But this is an amazing scalp massager. It gets the job done, makes my scalp feel really good. So one I would recommend. Next to keep my hair nice and healthy, I have to have my shears. I use these to trim my hair, dust my ends, and it's always great to have a pair of these anyway, especially if you uh, don't feel like going to the salon and getting it done professionally. You can just do it at home. But I like to put my hair in twist. Oftentimes when I get ready to um, trim my hair, that's the best way I can trim my hair is when it's in twist because I can feel the ends and in, in the um, fairy knots a lot better in the twist and I can just snip, snip, snip on each twist and my ends are, you know, looking more healthier. I really love these shears. I love the color, just this multicolored look and they are extremely, extremely sharp. So whenever I feel my ends looking and feeling dull and rough, I just snip, snip, snip because if you don't, that is going to stunt the growth of your hair. You're not gonna retain any length and your hair just simply won't grow. Now on to my combs and brushes that I use quite often. The first item I use is a good wide tooth comb. I got this at the dollar store. It doesn't matter what state my hair is in when I use this detangler. It can be dry, it can be wet, which of course I don't recommend detangling your hair on dry hair, but this comb will get through dry hair. It doesn't snag, it doesn't pull my hair. It just, it easily detangles my hair and this, I use it all the time, all the time. And then the other thing I got was the um, Ultimate Detangler by Tangle Teaser. The, the bristles on this one are a lot more flexible. They just give a little bit and it doesn't snag and pull up my hair. It clumps my curls, it finds my curls, it tangles my hair. These are, these are the only two tools I use for detangling my hair. These two right here. I get, I get my hair unmatted and detangled with this one and I smooth it out and clump it with this one as well as detangling. This is all I need. And this is also a really great one. Also got this at the dollar store as well. It's a pick, it's a comb and a parter. I call it a parter to part my hair and to make my parts. These are the three tools that I use. If nothing else, I always use these three. And before I forget, you can't do your natural hair without slicking those edges down. So you have to have an edge brush. So I got me an edge brush here. It's got a comb on this side and of course the edge brush on this side so you can slick your baby hairs down. I don't know what this is. I don't ever use it. So this is another favorite tool that I love to use as well. Another item that I like to use a lot is my spray bottle, but not just any spray bottle. I like the one, I like the one that shoots out a fine mist. So that way I can easily distribute the right amount of water on my hair and not shooting a straight stream of water at my hair and soaking my hair down unnecessarily. With this spray bottle, I feel like I have control as far as how much moisture I put in my hair or want in my hair. So I really love it. It has, you can't really see it. I don't know if you can see it, but it shoots out a very fine mist. Don't put any oils in here. I would not suggest putting any oils in here whatsoever it can be the smallest amount of oil it will clog it up and it is done <laughs> so you don't want to put any oil just straight water this one gives me just the right amount of moisture uh, for my hair so i really like this bottle so the other great tool that i really love to use on my hair that's very convenient is my hot head i love this deep conditioning mask it gets the job done every time i don't have to sit stationary up under a hair dryer just to uh, do my deep conditioning. I can still be mobile, move around the house, do what I need to do while I'm deep conditioning my hair. So it has in these little packets all through the cap, they're filled with flax seeds and you put the cap in the microwave, heat it up, it gets um, really hot. You put a plastic uh, cap on your uh, hair because you don't want to get this wet or damaged and then you just put it on top of there and just let your hair just sit deep conditioning for up to 30 minutes. And once I've taken the cap off of my head, I can feel that the products of the conditioner or the deep conditioner or mask that I've used have really penetrated into my hair, into my hair strands, and my hair just feels amazing after using this deep conditioning cap. I really love this cap. I don't know why I did not get one sooner, but I should have been got one. I, I need to get another one. So the very last thing I wanna talk about are my DIY products that I love to use. So when I'm not using the store-bought stuff, I like to make my own DIYs. 
So one of the things I love to make is a DIY hair mask. And I know I didn't really talk about any store-bought masks uh, previously, uh, but I like to make my own. So these are some of the things that I've, again, I have a video on this already and I'll link it above. But when I wanna make my own hair mask, I use my Ayurvedic ingredients. So I have um, Shikakai, I have, what is this, Bright Green Ridge, I have Brahmi, and I have Amla. And I also have hibiscus. And I forgot about fenugreek. I have fenugreek as well. So when I wanna do a nice healthy hair treatment on my hair, which I try to do this now consistent, consistently each week, I just mix these ingredients uh, with water or aloe vera juice and I just put it in my hair and leave it on for about 30 minutes to an hour um, on my hair as a mask and also just put my uh, heat cap on and just let it really soak into my hair. And these items are really great for hair strengthening and hair growth. These powders make my hair feel so good, so nourished, and just life back into my hair. So I really, really love these, um, these, these powders. Another thing that I also like to use is my hair tea. I also have a video of, of my hair tea. This is just extra that I have in the refrigerator, but I put it also in a, a spray bottle as well. And this is really great for strengthening my hair, moisturizing my hair, keeping an itchy scalp at bay. It also helps with shedding and hair fall. So this is a really great tea that I love to make. I also have a video on this as well, but I do use this to refresh my hair because it has peppermint, it has rosemary in it, it has um, the chamomile, it's got green tea, it has... I forgot all it has in there. But anyway, I did, a, I did a video on it with all the ingredients and, and just click the link above and you'll see it. It's very easy to make. If you know how to make tea, then you can easily make a hair tea. So, and you can change up the ingredients to whatever you want the ingredients to be. So that concludes the video, guys. I hope you enjoy watching me show you the products I like to use for my hair, products I recommend uh, for natural hair, and just some of my favorite styling tools. So for those that have questions about what I use, what I recommend, this is it. Um, if there's anything else, anything more, I'll definitely let you know or keep you updated. But for now, these are the things that I use consistently, use a lot uh, in my, for my natural hair. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed watching. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's just Janine, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.